What's up, everybody? This is Jay, and welcome to my podcast. Now, if you're new to the podcast, make sure you subscribe in Apple Music, Spotify, Google, wherever it is that you listen to your favorite podcast. I appreciate the support. And if you're watching this podcast on YouTube, Thank you for your support as well. Don't forget to subscribe, bang that bell, thumbs up, all them goodies. Appreciate it. And of course, definitely do my favorite comment. I love to check out everyone's comments. Let me know your thoughts below. Now, this podcast is about the Showtime Network canceling three very good shows all in the same week. They came out like the axe murderer swinging cutting down three shows in one week. Now, Showtime had the bloodbath last week when they canceled three shows in just a quick, short span. Jeff, The Jeff Daniels crime drama American Rust was the first one to get the axe, followed by the comedies Black Monday and Work in Progress. American Rust lasted only one season, while Work in Progress was canceled after two, and Black Monday with Don Cheadle was canceled after three. So they hit them with the one, two, three piece special and cut down three good shows. American Russ was an adaptation of the Philip Meyer novel and starred D- Daniels as a Pennsylvania police chief whose town is rocked by a murder that involves the son of a woman he loves, played by Maura Tierney. We can confirm that American Russ will not be moving forward with a second season, Showtime said in a statement to Variety on January 25th. They also added, We would like to thank our partners at Boat Rocker, our talented showrunner, Dan Futterman and the rest of the wonderful writers and our amazing cast led by Jeff Daniels and Maura Tierney. <clears throat> the series also starred Bill Camp, David Alvarez, Alex Neustadler, Julia Mayorga, Mark Pellegrino, and Rob Yang. Dan Futterman wrote the script and served as showrunner and executive producer. Daniels was also an executive producer on the show. Unlike HBO's Mayor of Easttown, American Russ was met with mostly negative reviews, so its cancellations wasn't a big surprise. But two days after American Russ was canceled, Showtime also ended the comedy's Work in Progress and Black Monday. Now, Work in Progress was created by Abby McEnany, and Tim Mason and starred McEnany, Julia Sweeney, and Theo Germain. <clears throat> the show was completely produced in Chicago with Lily Wachowski, who was one of the creators of The Matrix, as one of the executive producers. Wachowski told fans on Twitter last week she was notified around Thanksgiving that the show wouldn't get a third season. We are incredibly proud of the two seasons of Work in Progress and we're, thr- and we're thrilled to spotlight the enormous talents of Abby McEnany, Lily Wachowski said, and the entire cast and creative team. Showtime told Variety, we look forward to having our subscribers continue to discover this special series on Showtime streaming platforms for years to come. Black Monday lasted three seasons. The series starred Don Cheadle, Andrew Rennells, Regina Hall, Paul Shear, and Casey Wilson as traitors during Wall Street's darkest and most self-indulgent days in the late 80s. It was created by Jordan Kahn and David Caspi and included Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg as executive producers. The show earned critical praise and Cheadle scored Emmy nominations in 2019 and 2020. We can confirm that Black Monday will not be moving forward with a fourth season, Showtime said. 
Don Cheadle, Regina Hall, Andrew Rennells, Paul Shear, and Casey Wilson led a fantastic cast, and we are grateful to Jordan, Khan, David Caspi, and all who worked on the show for three hilarious seasons. American Russ, Work in Progress, and Black Monday are all available to stream on the Showtime app. And although these shows didn't make it, Showtime did recently score a big hit with Yellow Jackets. That show was renewed for a second season in December. Well, you guys let me know what you think. Do you think HBO got it right or wrong by canceling these shows with so much potential? American Russ, I did catch one episode. It looked interesting. I didn't really get to get into it and see much more of it. Black Monday was awesome. I loved that show. It was amazing. It was only around 30 minutes an episode. Don Cheadle, Regina Hall chemistry was off the charts. Not only was it funny, it was interesting, witty, intelligent. It was a home run to me, and I'm just shocked and surprised that they canceled it. I guess maybe the storyline was starting to get towards the end because as they moved on, I guess they were now moving out of the 80s period where all the most of the interesting things happen. But I would have loved to see how the characters progressed and work in progress was a very good show as well. I didn't know about work in progress at first for some of you all that watch my show and stay tuned often. I was a part of the cast for Work in Progress Season 2, and I was in four episodes. I never heard of Work in Progress until I got the role, and then I went back and watched Season 1, and then, of course, I filmed Season 2. It was actually actually very good and much better than I expected, and to be honest, I may not have watched it had I not have been a part of the show. Now, the one thing I think hurt work in progress is it's extremely late time slot. The first season, it had better ratings and it was critically acclaimed. But the second season, I didn't hear about the critics, but the ratings were not as high. And I think it's due to being on at such a late time period where many people could not see the show. Unfortunately, Work in Progress was canceled and maybe with streaming services such as Netflix, maybe these shows may be able to get a second life and end up on Netflix. We've seen other shows get picked up by Netflix and continue, such as Manifest. You guys let me know in the comments below What do you think about these three shows getting canceled so soon? Please give me your honest opinions. And would you like to see any of these shows come back to life on Netflix or on another streaming service? HBO Max now has shows that they just do only for HBO Max subscribers. Maybe they can bring back some shows on Showtime as only on the app who knows let me know your comments your thoughts below and i'll see you all on the next video of course don't forget to subscribe bang that bell and i'll see you on the next podcast or video depending on where you consume my material thank you very much take care and i'll see you all later peace be safe and i'm out